What's going on guys? Gums here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. Y'all can see it right there. The third inning program is out. We also have a stub sale. We also have a new headliner that is in the game. And uh, just a bunch of content to go and look at. Um, really curious to see all of these bosses statistics. But before we hop into this one, make sure to leave a like down below if you guys do enjoy these videos. Uh, we hit 35k. Thank you guys so much. Uh, once again, another fantastic birthday gift that you guys have delivered on me. Uh, back to back years now. So thank you guys so much for that. Seriously, that being said, let's not waste any time. Let's look at the third inning program. So uh, looking at all the loot, um, first of all, uh, this is going to last a full month opposed to just three weeks like the last one. And uh, we're going to see nothing too spectacular. We have a standard camo universal nameplate. Uh, we have a headliner pack set 12 and 100. And uh, still gold henchman, which we're going to see at 150 points. We got uh, Kangraphy Senior, uh, which we're going to take a quick gander at. 120 contact versus lefties. Quite literally no power whatsoever. I know we talk about, oh, 50 power can't push it past the pitcher's mound. I don't know if he can push it past the catcher's arm reach. 86 speed. It could be a really good card, though. I haven't tested out cards with only in the 30s power this year. I don't know how good they're going to be. Uh, we have an 83 Bruce Suter. Brand new flashback we've never seen, I don't believe. 91 hit 9, 99 K9, 64 walk 9, splitter, 4 seam, and a slider. Um, all these gold cards. They could potentially be pretty good budget cards, but it is really hard to tell, especially since there's so many free diamonds that you can get at this point. And then we have an Alan Trammell 109, 79 contact, 71 power against lefties, uh, silver defense at 73. And uh, yeah, I don't know how that's diamond hitting, but brand new Alan Trammell as well. Uh, so those are going to be the henchmen that you get at 150 program stars. At 180, you're going to get a prospect set one pack, if you guys can see over my big big voluptuous melon. Um, also, we have a classic stadium pack, a red digital camel bat skin that looks really nice, but let's get into the bosses, the meat and potatoes, baby. We have Shane Victorino, the first one we're going to look at. All of these bosses are switch hitters, by the way. Victorino, 91, 106 contact, 56, 50 power, 103 vision, very good. Diamond defense at 91, 94 arm, 94 reaction, 86 speed. So, of course, the one thing that people would say to denounce this card is he only has 50 power per sign. But with that contact and vision in 86 speed, he's going to hit the gap regularly. And I think this is a perfect complimentary card if you have somebody like uh, some really high power outfielders like a Joe Carter, somebody like that. Uh, I really like the looks of this Victorino. I'll be honest, the 50 power is good enough. Tons of vision, great defense, and good speed as well. So um, really like the looks of that. Chipper Jones, probably the one most people are most excited about. He's going to be a three B with also playing shortstop and left field 88 and 105 contact 88 114 against lefties 80 vision uh, bronze defense no matter where you play him 71 arm 64 speed and 69 stealing uh, so I like this card he's going to kill lefties and he's still going to be good against righties he has the 80 plus power threshold 80 vision which is pretty good Defense isn't really there. I would probably play him in either left field or third base. He has enough speed where he's do, uh, going to be definitely viable in left uh, in left field. I would not play him at shortstop. Uh, 71 arm is low. And uh, plus 67 fielding isn't exactly a grandstanding. So I would put him at third base or left field. I like the looks of both of these boss cards so far. Uh, next up, we have Brian Roberts, the first one that was revealed. 108, 90 contact, 66, 57 power, 94 vision, 84 fielding, 75 arm, and 92 speed. He can only play second base. Once again, 5'9", just like Shane Victorino. And also like Shane Victorino, he is a switch hitter. Um, from face value, I think this is going to be the lowest of the three bosses, in my opinion. Why? He can only play second base. Uh, 84 fielding is cool, but it isn't something spectacular. 75 arm is a little low if you are making relay throws. Offensively, he should be really good. 94 vision, 92 speed. Uh, he doesn't 
have bunting, which I don't care about. I'm not a cheeser, but some of you who are into that disgusting business might be um, really salivating over that, um, or rather lack thereof salivating. It went back into your mouth. Uh, but 108, 90 contact is really good. So um, not a whole lot of power out of these two. I would say... Uh, Probably Chipper Jones or Victorino are my favorite. I might make a video going over this entirely, but I am not quite sure. Uh, throughout the rest of the program, five show pack bundle, another headliner set 13 at 550, and it's only going to go to 600 program stars once again. Uh, taking a look at the Conquest map, I will have all the hidden pack locations that will be up probably within a few hours, so make sure hit the notification bell and subscribe to be alerted for that video. Uh, this is what it is going to be looking like the goal is what are you going to need to do uh, steal 3 million fans so I would recommend obviously knock that out as soon as possible and there is no turn based goal this time I know a lot of people are uh, frustrated and didn't realize that on the second inning program so you don't have to worry about that for the third inning conquest map uh, I don't know why it just kicked me up but I guess we'll look at the schedule quickly see what else we have on the lookout obviously the stub sales going on I'll talk about that in a second um, we'll come back to that because I realized we also have the 9 96 Cy Young in the headliners pack um, who I don't know I have not seen his stats yet last year I think it's probably going to be about the same card uh, four seam 12 6 slurve change up screwball absolutely junk dealer is like Watto from the prequel Star Wars series uh, 125 stamina 82 hit 9 92 K9 and 99 walk 9 he has really good per nines the hit 9 is a little bit low 94 95 on the four seam fastball he does have a particularly long wind up I remember that uh, once again, I just don't see this card being that effective. You might say, why, despite him having really good per nines? It's because if you look at the breaking balls, all of them go about the same speed. The screwball and the sweep and curveball, they're both going to be very similar pitches, and they both go at pretty much the same speeds. The 12-6 curveball is a good differential between the four-seam changeup and 12-6 at 8 from the 12-6 and changeup and uh, 22 from the four-seam. But I just don't think he's going to be that effective. If, if you guys used this card last year, I did not. Please let me know how you guys feel about him. Uh, but personally, I would not uh, go out and get him. I don't think he's going to be all that effective. Uh, currently on the market, he is going to go for uh, 33k. I see him probably going down to at least Christy Mathewson price. If you want to give him a try then, I think that's the price you're going to want to buy him for. Talking about the stub sale, I tweeted about this. I said I wasn't going to make a dedicated video because I want to talk in it right here. So... The stub sale, 15% off every stub pack. So if you want to buy $100 worth, it's only going to call, uh, cost you $85 worth. Uh, this is coming, or this is ending on May 5th. It's going to end at 10 Central Time, 11 Eastern Time in the morning. Uh, so what do you guys want to do in this scenario? Sell off your diamonds. If you look at a guy like Mike Trout, he is going rapidly up in price right now. I'm currently trying to sell Cody Ballinger. And uh, once this stub sale is over, prices should start to go back down if you're wondering why prices go up this is e inflation in an economy if they print more money uh, in the United States uh, the US dollar or rather products are going to cost more money so the same thing goes right here a lot of people are buying stubs because they are at a reduced price so once the stub sale starts to wither out and people have got their jollies in and whatnot people have already bought them the cards are going to start going down to their price that they were at the start of the sale or rather before it started so uh, that's what i recommend if you guys have some diamonds sell them off and then buy them back once the stub sale is ended at least may 5th if not a couple days afterwards and you guys should be able to make a good amount of profit off of that so that's really interesting to see and uh, other things i wanted to look at as far as the content schedule uh, we are going to be looking at in the future uh, we have a new headliner pack on tuesday award series flashback is going to be set 16 a live series event which i believe is going to be brand new on the 7th which is thursday so should be seeing new cards in there and then a new player program a breakout legend in a new player program for the third inning program to gain points for that on the 8th on friday so brand new free diamond coming then 
Regarding the patch, because if you guys do not know, there was a patch last night. Uh, March to October no longer awards double points. It is only going to give you as advertised. The retro mode XP glitch no longer does work. I believe where it would usually continuously walk you, it no longer does that whatsoever. And then home run derby, it used to give you 25 XP per home run. It is now only going to give you eight. So uh, really it was a patch to end grinding. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I'm uh, most upset about the March to October in my opinion because they made showdown a lot easier which I guess I'll show you guys the showdown real quickly. Uh, the bosses you're going to face I imagine they're going to be probably uh, like Zach Britton for the Orioles. A lot of people are wondering since there's no starting pitchers within here I'd imagine Zach Britton would be one of them and then maybe Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, John Smoltz uh, for the Braves and maybe Aaron Nola for the Phillies for Shane Victorino. So uh, that's the showdown. I'll have a showdown tips video tomorrow if you guys have any other questions who are your favorite bosses which ones are you going to pick up from list list let me know down below in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below thank you all for watching hope you guys have a great day